At the beginning of chapter 3 of John's Gospel, we are told that Nicodemus comes to Jesus at night. He seeks Jesus out to talk to him. His prominent role and position in the national cabinet called the Sanhedrin made him one of the custodians of their religious tradition. He was expected by many to be an expert on the law and on God. And being seen with Jesus might have been risky for him and may have compromised him. Perhaps even he feared his questions would expose his vulnerability. Nicodemus wants to have what we could call a spiritual conversation with Jesus. He is seeking a spiritual companion because he desires to know more. Jesus answers Nicodemus by showing him how important it is for him to experience God's presence. Nicodemus realizes, and this is probably why he comes to Jesus in the first place, that God is more than law, data, or theological ideas. God is first and foremost love and wants to be in a loving relationship with each person. Nicodemus needs a companion who can help him to grow in that loving relationship with God. And just as Nicodemus seeks out Jesus for a spiritual conversation, so too we need others whom we can talk to about our relationship with God. When we expose our vulnerability and our fragility in faith, we need people who can help us recognize how we do experience God and how God is always inviting us into a loving relationship. These people may come in the guise of a fellow believer, a spiritual companion, someone in a faith-sharing group, or a spiritual director. Our Christian faith is never a solitary affair. It is strengthened and deepened through our spiritual conversation and reflections with others. Who has made a significant impact on your faith journey? Who do you turn to when your faith seems vulnerable and fragile? Give thanks today for those who journey with you, your spiritual companions, helping you deepen your experience and your relationship with God.